morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, weekend devotion. This is for, um, we're beginning the fourth week of Lent now. This is the fourth Sunday of Lent that we are welcoming in. And we had two very important gospel readings um, yesterday and today that really give us a good guide on how we should be living our lives. So yesterday in the gospel was the familiar story of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Um, the Pharisee prays um, very publicly, very loudly. Um, he is a person who prays uh, very selfishly about himself, um, just lording himself over everybody, talking about how pious he is and how grateful he is to God for making him um, better than everyone else and more holy than everyone else. And then we have a tax collector um, who was really looked down upon uh, by as far as his profession goes and you know who not a lot of people approve of or like very much and he was praying to God um, you know very you know privately to himself you know they said that he was you know beating his breast and he was saying you know God have mercy on me I'm a sinner you know please help me please be merciful to me and God approved of his prayer so much more because he was not exalting himself, but he was humbling himself and seeing how he could be better and asking God for his guidance and his forgiveness and his mercy, as opposed to saying, you know, I am, you know, I am so much more wonderful and more pious than everybody else. And today we have, um, you know, the parable where we have the two sons where you know, the younger son goes out and squanders all of his father's money and, you know, he returns and he is very humble and he is apologetic and he is seeking forgiveness and he is um, just asking for, for mercy and saying how wrong that he was. And the, the older brother is very jealous of that because he stayed and he says, you know, well, I, I stayed and I did the right thing, so I should be the one who is, you know, rewarded. And I think that those of us who do try to be um, faithful and who do try to, you know, go to Mass and pray and read the Bible, uh, I think that it can be easy sometimes for us to slip into the idea that we are um, better than others or more pious than others because of the way that we live our lives. But no one on this earth is perfect. And it is our job as adults in the faith not to drive people away by appearing to be perfect, um, but to draw people in by sharing God's mercy and God's forgiveness and God's love and God's acceptance and joy over people who return to him. Our job is not to intimidate others by... Um, making them feel like they are less than or inferior to us because um, we have already found faith. Because we are still on a journey every day um, where we are struggling with our sins, where we are trying to better ourselves, where we are seeking forgiveness and mercy of our own, where we are acknowledging that we need God's strength and guidance and help and support and that we cannot do anything or progress in our lives without him with us. And we should not ever pretend that we do not endure those same struggles. We should not ever pretend or give the impression to other people that we don't have a hard time sometimes too. Because we are all human and wherever we are on our journey of faith, um, we are never at the end of that journey. And there is always room for others to join us on that journey. So when you are um, helping others, when you are volunteering, when you are going about your daily life, when you are serving as an example for your children, your coworkers, your family members, your friends, um, please remember to live as an example of who God is and not necessarily trying to be an example of who, who you are, if that makes sense. Um, we should be beacons of hope that 
despite the fact that we are not perfect, God loves us and guides us and forgives us. And we should be sharing that message of hope. So our, our focus should never be on our own accomplishments, on our own piety, um, on our own, um, all the things that we do for others, how much we donate, how much we volunteer, how much we do for other people. Um, and we should never make the people that we are helping feel inferior for where they are at in their lives. All we should be doing is sharing God's love and forgiveness and mercy and hope and inviting others to come along on that journey with us and to experience the very same mercy and forgiveness and love that we experience um, no matter where we are at in our lives. So let us try to not be like the hypocrites. Let us try not to be like those who are self-righteous and let us try to not be like the Pharisee but instead to be like the tax collector and to set an example for others of what it is to humble oneself before the Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, dear God, thank you for helping me to see myself as I really am, a sinner always in need of your merciful love. Help me to know that any good I am able to do for others is prompted by your grace alone and is brought to fulfillment by your spirit working in me. Please help us to always remember the value of every human being, including those who have gone astray. In our prayers and in our lives and through the opportunities that we have, help us to always be seeking to bring others back to you and to sharing your love and your mercy with those who are lost and those who have fallen away. Amen.